Hey guys, um, I'm going to be doing a new video series um, on gear. It's kind of an update to a series that I did about five years ago on all of my outdoor gear. Um, it's kind of kind of due for an update. Um, I'm using a new camera by the way, so I don't know how well it's going to do or if I'm in focus or anything like that, so hopefully it's going to do well. I just dropped it by the way, which that made me cry. Um, so, the first video, like I said, is going to be on backpacks. There are backpacks. Um, first backpack is sort of not really a backpack, it's more of a dry sack for, for my kayaking and canoeing. But it has backpack straps and it gets used quite a bit. It's one of my kind of more used pieces of gear, so I thought I'd include this in the backpack uh, video. After this video, I'll probably do a um, kind of an alternative pack video, um, haversack, uh, uh, ribs, things like that, pouches, stuff along those lines. But this is a gecko, 60 liter waterproof dry bag. Probably not the best, but it's, been, it's done me pretty pretty well so far. This is the first backpack I ever bought. When I first started getting interested in backpacking, this was the pack that I bought. But like within a week, I really, it was kind of an impulse buy, you know, and um, which it wasn't very expensive, so that's not too big of a deal. Other people got some use out of it as a spare pack for a while. Um, it's an outdoor products. Uh, but within a week, I, I, I just, I realized I, I need something a little bit better. Um, I really didn't like it that this didn't have any uh, uh, water bottle holders on the side. So, like I said, it, it only took a week for me to go shopping for something else. I didn't, didn't even get it to do anything but put it on, pretty much. There's that. So, this is actually my first backpack that I used. And uh, it's a Coleman Max 65. Elite 65L. Um, I've used it a lot. I used it up until 2013, exactly. Um, I can't say anything bad about it. I mean, it, it's a little on the heavy side, but it, I put it through hell, and it's still a great pack. Um, I, I, back when I. You know, when I first started out, I carried some pretty heavy loads, and this this took it, and it's it's been it's been a good pack. I never carried much for the red, but you know, it is what it is. So, and it's been on a lot of trips with me. I, I, I it's it's gonna have some sentimental value. I don't know if I can get rid of it. This is my second pack. Um, because I like the old 65 uh, L Elite so well, I bought the, a newer model, newer version, the 2013 model of it. Um, there are things that I like better about this one than the old one, but things I like about the old one better than this one, so I definitely like the color better, the gray, gray and black. But, um, I, my first trip with this was, was um, to uh, Colorado, if you guys have seen that video of mine, that video series. Um, but it, it's been an awesome, an awesome backpack. Still a little on the heavy side. I think it is lighter than the old version, but um, still a little on the heavy side. That's one thing that I eventually you'll see as I get to that I have upgraded to a lighter pack for that kind of a trip and a multi-nighter or even even overnighter. Um, I've got some ideas of what other things that I'll be using for all, over, just probably overnighters maybe more than a pack like this. But definitely on a trip like for example, I'm, I'm going to Grayson Highlands in, the, in about a month, and um, I'm you know it's, I've got a pack now that replaces this as an upgraded upgrade to it. So, but it's been a great pack. Both of these Coleman Elites. Even though they were sold at Walmart and a lot of people dogged that, these have been awesome packs, in my opinion. So, 
this was my first uh, day pack and I also kind of used it at one point to attempt to um, get away from heavier loads which was way too easy with the 65 L's this was the first pack that I ever um, did like I think it was a 14 pound base weight you know it helped me minimize the smaller pack kind of even though it's actually a day pack it helped me minimize uh, uh, minimize my gear a little bit and um, the one thing that I don't like about it is it's got a really funky opening this opening is small and um, even though it fits a lot in it it's just hard to pull stuff in and out of it so it's got a lot of little loops and, and stuff on the outside yeah. it's outdoor product skyline 8.0 Built pockets, but um, I only used it like a few times. What a bad pack, though. This was my next day pack. It's a Coleman Caver, and honestly, still to this day, this is probably my favorite day pack. And I think I have used it on an overnighter once. Um, but it's got this trampoline style uh, suspension on it and it's pretty light and it's got quite a bit of um, storage and little organization crap in it so it's still probably my favorite j just pack to take out for a hike maybe not so much for an overnighter and, and things like that or bushcrafting or anything like that but, um, just for a quick hike, it's pretty awesome. This is my uh, hunting day pack for like um, if I'm hunting, if I'm deer hunting. Um, it straps to my like my my uh, climber tree stand when I'm carrying it on my back. I can just kind of hook this onto it, and it's big enough to carry my my calls and and, and uh, scents and a little bit of food in here and something to drink and all that stuff so uh, it's a timberhawk which walmart sold which for a walmart product it, or, uh, i like them there's lots of little organization pockets in here and outside storage and, and all kinds of good stuff i like it um, I've used it for a day pack too. Sometimes I've used it for squirrel hunting, but I usually use a, a kind of a fainting pack type deal usually for that, or a, more of like a haversack type deal for it. Um, there's that. And then I bought this. It's still a day pack, and it's a Timberhawk as well, but it has it's a little bit bigger, has hip belt. The hip belt pockets and you know, more again like the other one a lot of a lot of organization and storage and stuff um, I've used it of course for overnighter I've used it for overnighters um, I've used it for day pack sometimes I'll take it um, if I've already got a stand set up I'll take this instead of that the other one I used it down in um, Tennessee on our little day hike down there some people uh, Tennessee at the uh, bushcraft again. Some people probably might remember seeing this pack. Um, but I do like it for. Um, it's probably one of my favorite, more favorite. Uh, well, well, I guess I did get the uh, Coleman's at Walmart too. Every once in a while, Walmart, Walmart does pull something off. But, um, it's definitely like these. Um, I've also, also used this as kind of like my make, makeshift uh, bushcraft bag. There's that. Um, this is a pack that I've still not used yet. It's a uh, outdoor products, maybe I don't know. Yeah, no, it was our trail uh, day pack. Um, I kept picking it up at Walmart. And I kept thinking about it's only 18 bucks, and I kept thinking about buying it. And um, finally, I think it was Rainbow Hiker that 
finally pushed me over the edge and I bought it. And it's, it's more for um, my idea for it is kind of just to experiment with to see how wide I could go because it's probably the lightest pack, backpack I own. Um, I still haven't used it yet. Hopefully, I will someday because I just like to try it. See how low I can go, and this is definitely the pack that would get me the lowest. So. Give it a try sometime. Now we're getting down to um, my very newest packs that have not even been used. Um, first, though, I've had this one for a while. It's not actually my newest pack, but it, uh, it has not been used either, other than what it's for. This is a uh, SOG, SOG or whatever, SOG. Walmart sold. Um, this is my get home bag. Uh, I think I've mentioned a few times to Bob 808 Night that I, I intended to do a video on this pack. It's not the kit is not totally complete. I haven't totally dialed it in. Um, but this is my pack that I would I keep in my my truck in case my truck breaks down or the Russians take over or aliens drop down out of the sky or whatever the hell you know walkers and whatnot. Um, I did do an EDC pack video but I haven't done um, my get home bag video and and since we're on packs like the only pack that I can think of that I really want right now is any burly stock for um, to use as a bug out bag because I, as I explained when I got into the, the, whole, the conversation about this bag with Bob 808 is that um, he had the um, kind of all-in-one bag going on the um, it's a bug out bag get home bag EDC bag all-in-one and I prefer a dedicated bag which makes it harder to complete a kit because you have to have more a lot more gear to be able to do that for each of your kits but um, so this is not a kit video I'm just showing you my different backpacks and so at some point I'll try to do a, a, a kit video on this bag but, so there's that one. Now down to my, my two newest packs that I just got recently and have not used at all. Um, ULA Circuit in camo. Um, so this is what is going to replace my, um, my uh, Coleman Elite 65L things like multi-nighters and ultralight multi-nighters multi longer trips basically um, can't really say a whole lot about it because I haven't used it yet um, as I said I'm taking it on a trip to Grayson Highlands next month and I'm probably gonna try to get in a little test run on it here in, in, in a couple weeks in the next couple weeks try it out um, first impressions I love the camo. I love all the outside storage. I love that it's insanely light, at least lighter than any of my other packs, except for that little $18 experimental one. But it could not hold as much as this. So um, it's almost as light as my day pack, though. That the, the Coleman day pack that I like really well. I'm probably going to be doing a whole different video on this. Kit belt pockets, uh, water bottle harness things, which I haven't tried. I'm kind of interested in that because I hate reaching back for my my water bottle. It'd be kind of nice if it's up front. If that, if that works out. We'll see. Um, again, I like all the outside storage, the mesh pocket, the uh, the bungees, and the side pockets are really roomy. About all I can say about it for now. Can't wait to use it. Last but not least, the Duluth Pathfinder pack. Again, haven't used it yet. Um, wax canvas. This is probably, I think, going to be my um, usual overnight, just for overnight camping trips. This is probably going to be the bag that I use the most now. Um, I'll probably save the uh, save the um, 
the ULA circuit for multi-nighters for the most part. It's going to be between these two probably though for sure. Um, again, not having used it, there, there really isn't a whole lot that I can say one way or the other about this bag. It looks cool. It seems like it's pretty bomb proof and well made. And it appears to be a lot roomier than what I expected before I bought it. Uh, the only one thing that I'm, I'm kind of sketchy about is I'm used to a hip belt and this has no hip belt, so I'm not sure how, how comfortable it's going to be. We'll be finding out real soon. And I'll definitely be doing a little bit of a video on this and the ULA circuit. Let you guys know how it goes. So that's it with my um, the backpack uh, video of the series. Again, like I said, I'll be doing um, another pack video real soon. That's uh, you know, like I said, alternative other types of packs. Um, that's it for now. So. Hope you enjoyed watching, and stay tuned to see more of the gear series. Talk to you guys later.